This is a program called Notation Composer. Now this program is downloadable from the internet on a free trial. So it, um, if you follow this, then you can download it and have a go for yourselves. The object is uh, at this time is I want to create a fake sheet from a MIDI file. You can see in the options there we can create a new song also. You can also see it to the internet for MIDI files, but I've never found that to be too acceptable. So we're going to open a MIDI. I've got one there on the folder ready for MIDI files to convert on my desktop. And the song I want is always on my mind. So I'll open that. So notation composer is saying that we need to take some corrective actions, recommending these actions. So I would say yes, okay to that. Now we have three staves there. We don't want that. So I'm going to play it and let's just see exactly where the notation is that we want to uh, save and copy to a fake sheet. And we know it's the melody line in this instance. So now what I'm going to do, it, it's in the key of uh, D major, it's quite acceptable. So press part on the options and come down to fake book lead sheet. There we are. We could go for easy notes, sing along, fake book. Sing along would obviously if we need lyrics in there, which I don't think they are with this MIDI file. So we go to next. There we are. It does not have any stays with lyrics. So press next. We know it's the melody because we've just listened to it on that melody line. So next there. Chord styles there. You have um, change that to country. Because it's a country song. Press next. And we can alter these as well. Note sizes. Eight, if you wish. Ten's acceptable, actually. Chord size is 14, I think, in this instance. Finish. Yeah, that's looking quite good. Let's just play that. That's fine. Now I like to put a title on a piece of music, so now we just press the text button on the tabs there, and we see a tab page header there. Press that, and now we can, where we want to put our title, we can expand that, make it bold. It's on my mind. It's quite central. That can be altered a little bit, if you wish. Let's come out to that, just click on one of the tabs there. And we see that there now is it our always on my mind in D major. So if we go to file, we can now print that out to printer or other options, whatever you've got. That's my printer. Express writer. I use cute PDF to save it as a PDF file. So I'll press OK with that. And I can see then that there's one page, which is uh, very nice. One page is always nice with fake sheets. There we go. Desktop, save. That's now saved that as a PDF. So we're going to come out of there, open the PDF file. There we have a nice one sheet, fake sheet of uh, PDF of uh, always on my mind. That's great. So we go back into the program. Um, 
We want to change that to C for example. Nice easy lead sheet. We go back to part, so, uh, sorry to staff, transpose actual pitches. There we go. It's next. Go there. Find the option for C major. There we go. Finish that. Let's look at that. That's okay if you play at the top end of your keyboard. If you want to play somewhere in the middle, what we can do there is go to Staff, Transpose Actual Pitches again. This time come down by 12 in that box. So you can see we're still on C major but an octave lower. Finish. And there we are. That's, that's better for playing down the bottom middle end of your keyboard. In the middle. So once again we can now say File Print. OK. So my mind C save. Is it there? There it is. Now we have a lovely fake sheet created with Notation Composer. At this point, you can also file and save as save. And if you notice, that was a dot and ot extension, which is the program's extension. That has now gone into my folder there. By double clicking on that, we go back straight into the program for further editing.